guys, Jumela and Sanbonani. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to share the word with you guys and I hope that you guys will get motivated and encouraged by it. So I gave my message a title which is Living for God is All That Matters. I'm going to read a scripture, 2 Corinthians 10 verse 12. It reads us, Of course we would not dare to classify ourselves or compare ourselves with those who rate themselves so highly. How stupid they are. They make up their own standards to measure themselves by, and they judge themselves by their own standards. What I want to tell you it is that it takes boldness to follow God instead of the crowd. Now, being excessively concerned about what others think leads only to torment. Although all of us enjoy being well thought of, but the fact is and the truth is, it is not always possible that we're going to be liked by everyone all the time. In the God's economy, we usually have to be willing to lose something we have in order to gain something we really want in life and that means we should co stop comparing ourselves to the standards of other people and we should start living for God people who are your friends will help you to be who God wants you to be they won't judge you for following God's call in your life. And real friends will encourage you to put God as your number one in your life. For Matthew 6 verse 33 tells us that, But seek first his kingdom, all his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. So, I'd really like to encourage you that as a person, live honestly and truly to yourself. And you will see God giving you friends who will also encourage you to become real and genuine. Stop living for approval, for you already have it from the one who matters, which is God. As you choose friends, choose friends with caution. Plan your future with purpose and frame your life with faith. And keep your circle small. Even if people could walk away from you, God promises us in his word that I will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid for I am with you. God is for us. He's not against us. Now, sometimes life gets complicated, confusing and frustrating when we try to please both God and people. We should not allow ourselves to be defined by the world. And we should not worry about what people think about us. Because a lot of us are holding ourselves back. Because we allow the opinions of people to take or to have right to rule over our lives. So I'd really like to encourage you that live life for God. Be who he made you to be. For he says you are his child. Now as a child of God, know that you are a child of God. Leave it and love it. 
Be proud of who you are, not ashamed of what someone else sees in you. And then I'm going to move on to another scripture, which is Psalms 37 verse 5. It says that, give yourself to the Lord, trust in him, and he will help you. Give yourself to the Lord, trust in him, and he will help you. You can only simplify your life by learning how to develop a trust in the Lord. Maybe your trust has been betrayed too many times in your past. Or maybe you have been a very independent person. Even so, it's critical to trust in the Lord, to put your trust in Him. You yourself cannot do it on your own. But with God, you can do it. So trust won't just happen magically. What magically happens? Trust grows as we take steps of faith and experience God's faithfulness in our lives. Trusting God brings a supernatural rest to our soul. For it allows us to live simply and freely the way God wants us to live. Now, I'd like to encourage you that even if it doesn't make sense, put your trust in God. Even if you don't understand, put your trust in God. There's the song of Travis Kreena. It says, to quote the lyrics, I don't know how, but you did it. You made a way. So even if you don't know how God how you will pull through, how you will get out of the situation. God will do it. All you have to do is to put your trust in Him. <laughs> Fully trust God. Trust Him with all your heart. In all your ways, acknowledge Him and He will direct your paths. So, to conclude on my message, I just want to encourage you that as you pray tonight, ask God, say to him that God, I've decided to live my life for you and for you alone, for you are the only one who matters in it. I've decided that I won't live according to people's standards, according to their expectations, but I will fully trust you. All my life, I will live for you. I will surrender all unto you and I will follow you further. And as you call unto me, I will respond. As you speak to me, I will listen. It doesn't matter the directions that you go in, but always make sure that your ears are always ready to hear what's behind you, saying that this is the way, walk in it. So that is it, guys. Know your purpose, live for God, and trust God. God is real. God is alive.
God is faithful. God is able to do more than we ask, far more than we can imagine. So trust in Him. Live for Him. Serve Him with your whole heart. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for watching till the end of the video. I love you all and I hope that you guys will get motivated or be blessed by this word that I've shared with you.